Nolajet here at the Undertow. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Beach Bar Reviews, we are on the Gulf Coast in Orange Beach, Alabama, doing beach seafood with all-you-can-eat royal red shrimp and crawfish at the Undertow Bar and Grill. The Undertow is located in Orange Beach, Alabama at 25025 Canal Road. When you're in the mood for all-you-can-eat Gulf Coast seafood, the Undertow Bar and Grill offers one of the best deals on the Gulf Coast with their weekend all-you-can-eat special. The Undertow is definitely a bar where the locals go, and they do allow kids inside for the all-you-can-eat special, but they also have a vape shop inside here that can sometimes get unpleasant from people using vapes, although they do have a great little back patio area that's great for families and other people wanting to escape the vapors. But let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So it's not the biggest place in here, but uh, here's the vape shop right here. So there'll be people vaping in this area sometimes. They also have a stage here, but I've never seen any music playing, but I've only been here during the daytime for the All You Can Eat special. To the right of the stage is a door that takes you outside to this patio area. So they uh, also will serve the shrimp and crawfish out here. Then you see you've got all these tables inside and the pool tables back here. So the biggest issue here is it gets really popular and crowded sometimes. You need to snag a place to sit. Between the inside and outside patio area, you can usually find a good spot. But if it's raining outside, you would probably prefer to be inside. So we go up to the bar and we have to buy our armband and get a beer to go with our upcoming feast we're gonna have. And it's better to get here early so you don't have to stand in line. So here's the corn and the husk, that's one of the options. And then we have the royal reds and the sausage here that's also part of the deal. And then here are the potatoes and the crawfish. Now you only get crawfish during crawfish season and they do run out of crawfish. I've never seen a run out of shrimp. They also have drawn butter right there because a lot of people like to dip the royal reds into the butter as it gives it more of a lobster flavor. So we've got some crawfish and royal reds ready to feast on. So let's dig into this great flavor combination of seafood. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. These royal reds are so hot right now, though. It's like the tips of my fingers are uh, getting a little cooked themselves. Oh, oh, oh. So these royal reds really do have a very distinctive flavor that's much different than the white and brown shrimp we get in Louisiana. The uh, royal reds are a deep water shrimp, so that uh, helps give them that special flavor they have. Now let's try this crawfish. These crawfish are smaller than the ones I've been getting in Louisiana, but let's see how the spice level is. Ooh, let's see, all right. Get that little vein out and uh, give a taste test here. Okay, so they are spiced quite a bit more than the Royal Red, so they definitely boiled them Louisiana style here. And they've got a lot more spice flavor levels than the uh, Royal Reds do. The Royal Reds are a little more uh, neutral tasting like a lobster would be. So the undertow really is amazing for this all you can eat special as most places charge $20 at least or more for just a small number of Royal Reds. All the other restaurants I'm aware of that even uh, serve Royal Reds are charging over $20 a pound for them. So the Undertow definitely has the best deal anywhere that I know of. Up until relatively recently over the past few years, the Royal Reds were a pretty rare and uncommon sight to see on restaurant menus outside of the Mobile Bay area. So they have definitely taken off and gotten way more popular since then, but the Undertow was one of the first places I ever saw Royal Reds, and I was amazed back then when I discovered they had the all-you-can-eat deal and they haven't raised the price since then in all the many years I've been enjoying it here. So I was already well aware of the few places I'd already seen them on menus, how expensive they are. But whoa, the deal here has definitely been in place for a long time and it's always been a wonderful place I've feasted on them for years. More recently, several of the Mississippi casinos have also added Royal Reds to their buffet offerings. 
So that's the only competition that The Undertow has for their all-you-can-eat special that I know of. And the distance between the Orange Beach, Alabama area and the Mississippi casinos is significant enough that, as far as I know, within the Orange Beach, Gulf Shores area, this is the best deal for Royal Reds in this area. So even in New Orleans, it's been a pretty recent phenomena that we even started having Royal Reds on the menu, and there's not that many places even that have them in New Orleans. So this is the only place I tend to eat my Royal Reds because it's such a fantastic deal. Now there are different cooking philosophies for the Royal Reds. Some people boil them and some people steam them. In my experience, when you steam the Royal Reds, they really taste a lot more like lobster. And when you boil them, they tend to have uh, more of an iodine uh, elevated taste compared to other shrimp. But uh, both ways, they're still delicious to me and I enjoy them. So you also can add that drawn butter to them for that extra super duper lobster flavory taste. For any of the people watching from around the New Orleans area looking for Royal Reds closer to home, there is the Blind Tiger, which had its start in Mississippi and has two locations there. And they've opened up locations in Slidell and Covington, Louisiana for everybody in the North Shore. I know they constantly have Royal Reds. In the city of New Orleans proper, uh, there are very few restaurants I know that even serve them and it's inconsistent. So it doesn't seem to be a regular offering. There's only very few places that uh, if you do a Google search, it'll pull up the most recent results. I have seen them on the menu at Basin Seafood and Spirits, Royal House, and GW Fins, and then very sporadically and hit and miss at the other area restaurants. So really, you're just going to have to kind of uh, get lucky and find it when they're having it on special, or do a Google search and call around to see who has them. Generally, for the price point, it's cheaper just to drive down here to Orange Beach and enjoy them at the undertow or go to one of the Mississippi casinos and enjoy them there. However, we have to emphasize that if you want to go to the beach too, the beach here in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach is way better than the beaches in Mississippi. So the Mississippi beaches have some nice stuff to do, but they leave a lot to be desired in the aesthetics category. Whereas the beaches in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores are the beginning of the beautiful blues and greens in the water and white sandy beaches that you'll find all down into Florida. So Mississippi beaches uh, are not close to that because they're so close to the Mississippi River. You get that brown river water mixed in with the ocean water and the sand. So everything's a dull color of brown, so you're not getting those beautiful colors that we all love in the beaches. So I'm doing quite a lot of work here, destroying a lot of these royal red shrimp and the crawfish. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and destroy that thumbs up like button like I've destroyed all of this seafood. And go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. And also, if you could share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me a lot too. So thanks so much to everybody at The Undertow for many years of amazing all-you-can-eat Royal Reds and Crawfish. And thanks to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.